Okay, this is example 13 in the integration topic. If you haven't seen example 12, watch that first because it looks at the issue of evaluating a definite integral where we're having to use integration by substitution. So the two things we need to do is first of all uh, rewrite or reevaluate this integral in terms of the substitution u equals cos x and then rather than changing it back into x at the end we're going to read um, define the limit 0 and pi over 4 in terms of u so we can actually work out the definite integral without changing back to x so let's have a look at uh, u equals cos x uh, when we have a look at the the actual function cos squared x times sine cubed x some of that we're going to be able to swap quite easily uh, because cos x is u so that first expression cos squared x is just going to be u squared x we're going to have to do a little bit of work with the sine cubed x in a moment but let's have a look e equals cos x uh, du by dx equals negative sine x multiply through uh, by dx and we get something like that so if we're going to look out for that there's no uh, negative Sign. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over or, or divide through by uh, negative 1 or multiply through. So I'm going to look out for sine x dx and when I see that I'm going to substitute in negative 1 or negative du. So if I want to think about substituting in for u, we could quite easily substitute that for u squared. But notice that we, we don't have an expression for sine cubed x. We do have a way of changing sine squared x into a cos x term. So what I'm going to do is rewrite this. I've got cos squared x, that's in the bag. I'm going to write this as sine x times sine squared x uh, with respect to x. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that uh, the identity, 1 minus cos squared x. And I'm going to end up with cos squared x times sine x times 1 minus cos squared x dx. Okay, now because we know that u is cos x, we now have expressions in u for those terms there. Uh, what about this sine x that's kind of on its own? Well, notice it's sine x dx is the same as that and we're going to swap it for negative du so we've got a wee bit of a uh, substitution to do so instead of cos x squared we've got u squared it's an interesting little aside that we've already said before that we can't integrate cos x squared we'd have to change that into a double angle formula like a half times 1 plus 2x something like that because we we can't integrate uh, a power uh, cos x squared but oddly enough we can um, if we substitute of course we can do that quite easily enough so that's why this method is quite good for integrating things like cos squared x because we can then just make it into u squared uh, we've got one minus u squared but the, the nice wee thing with the sine x dx is negative du. I'm going to stick the negative sign out here. And there's du and there's my new integral. Which I can do uh, a wee bit of multiplying out to get it ready to integrate. Now the thing that's missing here is the limits. We did have limits in terms of x. That is x equals 0 and x equals pi over 4. We can calculate those new limits simply by referring to our substitution statement here. Uh, u equals cos x, so u equals cos of 0, so our new limit is going to be 1 in the lower limit, and if x is pi over 4, then u is going to be cos pi over 4, which is 1 over root 2, or uh, root 2 over 2, depending on which uh, form you use. Um, so that means I'm going to use the root 2 over 2. So we've got 1 and root 2 over 2, 1 and root 2 over 2. 
So the integration itself is then rendered quite straightforward. It's negative u cubed over 3 minus u cubed 5 over 5 uh, from root 2 over 2 to 1. I'm going to substitute them in in turn, watching for the negative uh, sign here. So I'm going to keep that out there for the moment. So it's root 2 over 2 cubed over 3 minus root 2 over 2 to the 5 over 5 minus and then notice the negative sign at the start here I'm going to just make that plus uh, and then we'll make that it's just 1 over 3 minus 1 over 5 so a wee bit of evaluating to do in that first bracket here so I've got negative um, root root 2 cubed is 2 root 2 that's 2 root 2 there I've got divided by 2 cubed which is 8 and also divided by 3 so altogether it's 24 I'm going to multiply out this bracket so negative times negative is positive I've got root 2 to the power 5 which is 4 root 2 uh, 2 to the power 5 is 32 also divided by 5 means we multiply and 32 times 5 is 160 plus a third minus a fifth so evaluating them is a wee bit of um, a pain but there's nothing too difficult in time you can maybe take a bit more time to work it out we can simplify uh, those divide through by 2 and we get root 2 over 12 and we can divide through by 4 and we get plus root 2 over 40 uh, and then a third minus a fifth, um, well that's fifteenths, isn't it? Uh, so five fifteenths minus three fifteenths. And I've got negative root two twelve. Well, if I change that to hundred and twentieths, maybe that's negative ten root two plus uh, three root two uh, plus two fifteenths. You notice that I've got a third uh, fraction, and then I've got a, a integer fraction there, so I'm going to keep them separate. I'll write down, so we've got 2 fifteenths, and then we've got negative 10 root 2 over 20, plus another 3 root 2, gives us negative 7 root 2 over 120. What was that? Well, way back, it was the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of cos squared x times sine cubed x with respect to x, and the exact value of that is 2 fifteenths minus 7 root 2 over 120. But you knew that all along, didn't you? Right, so there's quite a lot of stuff in there. There's some integration, there's some substitution to have to work out, particularly using the identity uh, here. It's not obvious, uh, but you've got to try and look out for these kind of things as you go along. And once you get the substitution done, actually evaluating the, 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 the definite integral is not straightforward either. Okay, So have a go at that yourself. Try it again. Try if you like it. And then check the next example out, which is um, also uh, pretty interesting. Okay.